This is the next video in the series, the alt-right onion and the right-wing slide. First, to define terms, the, the idea of the right-wing onion is that the the right has different layer, layers of uh, sort of extremeness. The very skin of the alt-right onion are like classical liberals who unknowingly parrot alt-right talking points, and that the core of the that onion is just straight-up fascism. So the idea is every layer you go down, it gets more extreme. The right-wing slide has to do with the fact that people within the onion either don't attack others in the onion, that is, they don't attack people more right-wing than them, or if they do, they don't do it very often. And uh, they may, it may even be the case where people in the onion disinvite each other as speakers to their events, but that's to maintain the onion. So someone in a more outer layer of the onion has an event, they may disinvite people more in the inner layer. But that's not them attacking people to the right of them, that's maintaining the onion. So the idea of the onion is that you're first introduced to right-wing thought through, like, uh, useless idiot types. That is the SJ, anti-SJWs. The anti-SJWs, they sort of tell, say that they're centrists, but they only attack the left, or they don't attack the right enough. So because of that, the uh, centrist, more people who see themselves as sensible, will get caught up in the anti-SJW group, thinking, thinking in terms of they're just fighting left-wing extremism. The idea is that they gradually get introduced to more and more right-wing ideas because the people they're listening to aren't attacking them. So um, the idea is that people would start with Sargon, someone who says that they're like centrists, but they only attack the right-wing once in a while. They're more of an anti-SJW thing, so they, they get introduced to this level, but after a while they slide down to the Lauren Southern level. And Lauren Southern, I'd say that she's a middle layer onion. Uh, she's a middle layer on the alt right onion. So she's not all the way down to fascism, but she's pretty close. So if you slide down the Lauren Southern, it's not that many steps away from full blown fascism. Because that's the thing. Southern is almost there to fascism. In fact, she might actually be full blown center of the core onion uh, fascist but she's maintaining a middle layer as Lauren Southern is kind of a conduit between the anti-SJW centrists and the uh, more hardcore fascist all right. In fact, she'll uh, seem to be around the all right but without attacking them or bar but without explicitly saying what they believe or if she does say it, she flirts with it a lot. She flirts with the core the, the fascist ideas without explicitly saying it. The idea is that she's a middle layer. She's a conduit between the outer layer of classical liberals and the inner layer of fascists. So that's why it's the right wing slide. You start in this with the anti SJWs who seem like moderates and then you could potentially slide all the way to fascism. So if you can't tell my own views, I'm pretty left wing. I'm very much against the alt-right, and I have to give a disclaimer that when you describe the alt-right, you have to make clear that you don't believe in the alt-right, so just to make clear, I think the alt-right is terrible. So what can be done about the alt-right onion? Well, for one, classical liberals need to understand that they're being played, that they're, they're essentially being used by the alt-right for recruitment. So if anti-SJWs were to position themselves as uh, anti-extremists, so if they're positioning themselves as anti-alt-right and anti-SJW, that would really hurt the onion. And a lot of them do do that, but not very well. If you say you're against the anti-SJWs and against the alt-right, then you have to have at least an even number both ways. You can't just attack only the SJW types and never the alt-right, because then you are essentially a tool of the alt-right. So yeah, that's one way to do it. Another thing is to recognize the onion. Once you recognize the onion exists, you begin to realize the dishonesty of the alt-right because you'll come across people like Lauren Southern who don't appear to be alt-right fascists but probably are full-blown fascists because people in the middle layers of the alt-right onion are all about trying to sneak fascist ideas into the mainstream. They're all about trying to 
tr- sort of almost trick you into believing in the fascist type talking points because they uh, they promote they promote themselves as just reasonable moderate people asking questions not as full-blown fascists so that's the idea you just did the slide and because uh, the people in the middle layer like Lauren Southern will but once in a while flirt with fascism the idea is to get you to her level and then halfway kind of introduce you to the fascist core so they can the fascist core can take you the rest of the way so yeah if another way thing is that if the middle layer were the revolt if the middle layer of the alt light if the lower and southerns of the world were to uh, full-blown denounce fascism and white nationalism if the middle layer would have more strongly disassociate from the core fascist layer that would also destroy the onion or yeah that would destroy it the classical liberals leaving would weaken it because the classical liberals are sort of the recruitment tool for the alt-right as they seem like sensible centrists rather than the useful idiots they actually are so yeah yeah if you want to destroy the alt-right you need to convince centrists and classical liberals to uh, stop accidentally parroting fascist talking points to attack the alt-right more and if you can somehow convince people in the middle layer who are a little fashy to completely denounce and dissociate themselves from fascism you'd, uh, you'd, uh, it would destroy the core because the, the alt-right onion doesn't work if it's just full of people who are explicitly alt-right you need people who are centrist looking or moderate seeming so yeah, that's. I'm not very good at ending these videos. So that that's my collection. You gotta, you gotta fight all the extremisms. And one last bit, just in case people get confused, I don't like the term SJW. I think it's dumb. And I don't think SJWs are bad. If if anything, SJWs are people who have very good intentions. Just maybe they take it too far sometimes. But like their heart's in the right place. They're not bad. Whereas the alt-right is bad. Like the SJWs have good intent, sometimes bad means. Whereas the alt-right, the alt-right is all bad. Everything about it is bad. So, yeah. I, once the, now that that point's cleared up, that's, that's the video.